thank you everybody. Thanks for coming to this uh, presentation. So today we'll talk about um, a very domain specific um, usage of uh, model driven approaches oriented to the front end part of the systems, which is usually the part that is not, let's say, the main concern of model driven approaches. Actually, as you know, most of the model driven uh, technologies and, and methodologies are addressing different layers in the system design, starting down from, from the, from the back-end part to the system and, uh, uh, architecture to the, uh, to the enterprise architecture level, usually missing an important point I, from my point of view, that is the specification on how the machine and the, and the, and the people interact together uh, to, to get the final to, to reach the final uh, business objective they have so what we'll talk about today is how to address the user interface modeling problem with uh, model driven methodologies and as you see here we will talk about a specific case the one that we have been working in the last years uh, that is a, a specific domain, a domain specific language called IFML. So let's start from the problem. Uh, I'm not sure uh, how many of you only work on model driven or how many of you have ever uh, developed large system for systems for enterprises. Uh, in, in the latter case, for sure, you experience the, a, a very frustrating uh, let's say a, a scenario where you may have worked hard for for designing your system you may have spent hours or months designing and implementing your prototypes or your uh, or your uh, entire final products and then when you go to the customer you end up getting feedback and usually the the the, the level of feedback is kind of uh, yeah okay your your features are fine, I like it, but actually, why did you do this user interface so badly? Or why did you uh, put this picture in the user interface? Or why did you use that icon? Or why did people need to click twice to get to the, your features? Which is, in a sense, uh, a, a something you could expect. Because when you go to the customer or to the end user, what the, 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 the forefront of your project, of your work, is the user interface. This is the first thing th that faces, by definition, that faces the user. Uh, 